Of course, many、um, people, regardless of race, feel it's difficult to date into a Chinese family because it's a different culture, it's a different world, and not necessarily the family will accept you right away. That's why they call it the Great Wall of China. For me, the first time I met him, I was just like, "This guy is a playboy."、Um, you know, I. I That's a lie. <laughs> it was just made me smile. We had a lot of laugh. I don't remember、yeah. what we talked about, but I remember we did have a good time. So、uh, when I first met Chelsea, I've I've got a quite good judge in people's character, and with Chelsea, I could just tell she was very caring. She had a very warm heart. Sometimes in、uh, Chinese culture, they they just refuse to get to know the partner, or they they don't. Want they don't even acknowledge. So I'd say the biggest challenge would be for me to get the approval of her parents and definitely her family. And、um, it didn't really start off on a good note because when I first met Chelsea in the first few months of our relationship, I kind of just、um, dragged her into a TV show without really getting the parents' full consent for it. I just said, "Ah,、oh, yeah, we'll be fine, guys." And then, yeah, three months into the show, they didn't know what was going on. Two to three months dating, and、um, of course, it was a marriage. So, so、um, marriage is a very big thing, especially like for my culture. Like,、mm. you don't date just to date; you date to get married. You date to find that person that you're gonna end up with, and、um, especially to get married after such a short amount of time、um, was like a big no-no. Like, yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll,、um, I'll never forget your mum's face. I was just like, whoa. After the TV show. Um, how to get my parents to be okay with him? How to get my family to be okay with him? Because yeah, that was definitely the biggest challenge. I believe the best way to break this wall is to climb it. You go slowly, step by step. You don't rush and say immediately they're gonna like me. You have to build a relationship. It's with anything. Like you build something slowly. <clears throat> you can't expect a great reward if you don't work for it. If you're dating someone in the Chinese community, you really gotta make the effort to. Get to know all the other family members as well, or at least like the closest members. It's about respect. Yeah, respect. A lot of the Chinese culture is embedded with respect. So when you show,、mm. you show respect to your elders, you show respect to the parents, you show respect to basically where your partner comes from. So does your mum not like me? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Probably. I know. I know. She loves me. Deep down, she loves me. <laughs> Why? Huh? That's the question they ask me. <laughs>、For、other couples who are in the same situation, that they had cultural differences, they have family expectations, you have partner expectations, you have to as well be open to each other, be open to the family.、Um, don't be scared to tell your parents. You should <coughs> just try. If you love the person and you feel like they're absolutely gonna be your world. Long term, then try it. Tell your parents, I really want you to meet my partner. If they can see that it's really genuine and you really love for each other and you really care for each other, it's gonna work no matter what. So don't just give up on it. If it's something special, you hold on to it and don't let it go.